गाइस वेलकम टू टैलेंट स्प्रिंट आई एम रोहित अग्रवाल एंड हियर्स योर डेली डोज ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड स्किल्स इन दिस सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अ सुपर टेक्निक टू सॉल्व फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम परसेंटेज सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉमनली आस्क्ड क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम परसेंटेजेस इन अ जिफे लेट्स लुक एट द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इफ ए's सैलरी इज 25 परसेंटेज मोर देन दैट ऑफ बी देन बाय व्हाट परसेंटेज इज बी's सैलरी लेस देन दैट ऑफ ए so the question says a is 25 percentage more than b and we need to find out b is what percentage less than a now let me tell you that definitely for this question one of the answer options would be 25 percentage in fact i would say the first option itself would be 25 percentage because most of the students feel that 25 percentage is the answer here right because a is 25 percentage more than b so obviously b is 25 percentage less than a well that's not the case 25 percentage is the wrong answer see try and understand this let's say a person's salary is 30000 now when it becomes 60000 what happens it has doubled right it has been increased by 30000 original salary is 30000 and now it has increased by 30000 so we can say there is an 100% increment but if you look at it the other way when you come in the reverse direction 60000 when it becomes 30000 do we say it is a 100% decrement no because 60000 becoming 30000 is getting half which means 50 percentage less so the point is 30 to 60000 was 100 percentage increment but 60000 to 30000 is not a 100 percentage decrement right 100 percentage decrement implies it should become zero but it has not become zero it has become 30000 in the second case so it means 60000 to 30000 is 50 percentage decrement so understand absolute values will be same in both the directions 30000 increment 30 to 60 is 30 more 60 to 30 is 30 less but percentage wise it will not be the same right 30 to 60 100 percentage more 60 to 30 only 50 percentage less so that's the point here which means 25 percentage cannot be the answer so how do we do this uh, question how do we solve this question see a's salary is 25 percentage more than that of b now what is 25 percentage 25 percentage is 1 by 4 right 25 percentage is 1 by 4 so we can say a salary is 1/4 more than that of b by what percent is b's salary less than that of a now i am going to explain you a very simple and smart technique that can help you get the answer in just about 2 to 3 seconds all we need to do is focus on this fraction here right 25 percentage is 1 by 4 now a salary is 25 percentage or 1 by 4 more than that of b by what percentage is b's salary less than that of a now focus on this word here less we have to find out b salary is how much less than that of a less so reduce this fraction right less we have to reduce the fraction that's the keyword there so reduce the fraction how do you reduce the fraction fraction can be reduced in two ways either reduce the numerator or increase the denominator but understand while answering such questions will never work on numerator we'll only work on the denominator here so what do we do we want to reduce the fraction how can you do that with the help of denominator increase the denominator right increase the denominator the fraction will come down the fraction value will come down so we'll increase the denominator and the next question that arises is by how much should i increase the denominator increase the denominator equal to the numerator the numerator here is how much 1 so we'll increase the denominator by 1 now what happens 1 by 4 becomes 1 by 5 4 plus 1 we have increased the denominator 1 by 5 and that's your answer 1 by 5 is what percentage it is 20 percentage So we can say if A's salary is 25 percentage more than B, then by what percentage is B's salary less than that of A? It is 20 percentage less than that of A. So this is how you can simply work on the fraction and mark the answer. Let's look at another example, a similar example here. Let's say A's salary is, uh, you know, 50 percentage less than B, less than B. So how much is B more than A? A is 50 percentage less than B. B is what percentage? more than a b is what percentage more than a how do we do this we have to find out see 50 percentage is given in the question 50 percentage is 1 by 2 now what do we need b is what percentage more than a how much more than a you want to increase this it was less we reduced more increase how do you increase a fraction again two ways either increase the numerator or decrease the denominator but as you all know will not work on the numerator will only work on the denominator now we want to get a higher value more than a so we'll increase this fraction increase this fraction by decreasing the denominator we'll decrease the denominator by how much equal to the numerator so we can say 1 by 2 becomes 1 by 2 minus 1 we are decreasing the denominator by 1 so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 
Now, 1 by 2 was 50 percentage. 1 is how much? 100 percentage, right? In terms of percentage, 1 is equal to 100, right? Or 100 percentage is equal to 1. So, this is how we can work out based on fractions to solve such questions. And I am sure it would not take more than uh, 3 seconds for you to mark the answer once you have understood the technique. So, practice on a few more questions based on this super technique to solve this commonly asked question from percentage. Thank you all for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel by clicking here so that you do not miss out on such super techniques for solving various questions on aptitude. See you.